Before we get into this video, I would just like to say that this video is just based on my personal experience and I am not a medical professional or an orthodontist or a dentist, so please take everything I say with a grain of salt. Uh, this is not medical advice. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Clarice and today I will be talking about the things that I wish I knew before I got clear alignments slash Invisalign. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Clarice. I am currently based in Australia. To be more specific, I am currently based in Sydney. And this is my experience with Invisalign slash clear lines. Yeah, let's get into the video. Before I jump into the next bit of this video, I just wanted to say thank you for two years on YouTube. I posted my first video on the 9th of November 2020 and today is the 8th of November 2022. So yeah, thank you everyone for joining me in this journey. But anyway, let's get to the next bit and section of this video. Just a bit of a like brief description about my teeth at the moment. If you can see, I'm only getting aligners on the top row of my teeth and down on the bottom here, I'm just getting regular braces because I have a bigger problem with my bottom teeth. They were more overcrowded. I'll see if I can put a photo up of it before. According to the orthodontist, my teeth or my braces and this line slash aligners would take probably about nine months to a year, probably, possibly a year. As you can see, my top teeth aren't super like misaligned, but my bottom teeth were like a little bit more crowded than before. And also, I did get braces when I was in like high school. For the record, I am like 20 now, so that's that. To clarify, high school for me was year 7 to 12. In Australia, high school starts at year 7 and it ends in year 12. And I got my first round of braces in December of 2014 when I fin after I finished year 6 and I started year 7 at the end of January of 2015. So. Two months, one or two months before I started a seven. Okay, let's get on with the video. I have my laptop here with my notes. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Before I start again, this is the box where my aligners came in. Just so you know, I'm not using Invisalign, the brand. Invisalign is a brand name, but it's like a clear aligners which is like basically the same concept it's through an orthodontist it's not like smile direct club or anything like that it's the same orthodontist that is doing my bottom teeth not the same guy that did my first round though because i did it when i was still living in singapore and i am living in sydney now and it is a trek to fly eight hours there and back just to do braces. I'm not gonna do that. So my aligners look like this at the moment. This is still my first tray. I don't change it out every week like Invisalign. I just get new ones every time my ortho gives me a new one. I've only had one so far and I've been I think two or three times because to get my once to get my braces on and then once to get this and once to get my braces adjusted and I didn't get a replacement because my teeth weren't mo moving enough. Anyway, the first thing I wish I took seriously or I wish I knew before getting braces was, I mean not braces, aligners was it's actually way more high maintenance than braces. Not that braces isn't high maintenance, it is, but 
it's like more than high maintenance of braces because you have to brush your teeth each time you put your aligners back in and then you have to also like clean your aligners in addition to that you have to remember to put them in like probably about at least like 20 to 23 to 23 hours a day which can be quite a lot for some people if you like talk a lot or you need to like not wear aligners in your teeth for your work for whatever reason whether you are like talking or if you play a lot of sports that as contact sports that might not be good because you're not meant to wear them when you play contact sports because it might break and you also if you swim a lot that's not a good one because especially if you swim in the sea i mean it's not as bad if you swim in the pool but not recommended as well because if you lose this can you imagine losing the retainer in a pool or in the sea it's like basically impossible to find and let's say if you're playing contact sports the likelihood of these like breaking of you know tearing it's very high i mean you probably shouldn't be wearing a mouth guard anyway but wearing your invisalign with a mouth guard is just not ideal i think not that i play contact spots but yeah also for the record i'm pretty sure there are mouth guards for people who play contact sports who are going through orthodontic treatment but make sure you go and talk to your orthodontist about it because i am not an orthodontist and you should protect your teeth if you're playing contact sport and wearing braces at the same time this is how my tray looks like up close it is kind of gunky because I grind my teeth but this is basically in the highest resolution that I can film in and yeah the second thing I wish I kind of was more aware of was the attachments and how common they were I thought they were just for some people but it turns out that a lot more people have attachments than I realized so yeah also they are not that noticeable for me I only have four some people have more or less depending on how severe their case is but from what I know I've heard that a lot of people do tend to have attachments I'm not sure if it's the majority but I do and most people that I've known that wear Invisalign or clear aligners have them at least those who have done it through an orthodontic so if you look close you can kind of see that I have one right there and one right there and then also one here and one here on I think this is my molar and this is my canine and yeah also for the record I did get two of my premolars removed on my first round of braces only on my top teeth and I got one of my incisors I think it's my lateral right incisor I removed on my bottom teeth as you can see there's a small gap there it's closing up hopefully it closes up by the next appointment I mean not by the next appointment but by the end of the year after my next appointment it's November 8th so hopefully by Christmas maybe this gap is hopefully it's closed so yeah anyway sorry for getting sidetracked but the third thing I wish I knew about getting aligners like this was that I would need to bring a case and toothpaste and toothbrush around everywhere basically everywhere especially if I'm planning on eating because when you take these out you will need to brush your teeth and brush this I mean this not the box but the aligner okay 
because it's kind of gross to put like your eyeliner back in your teeth if there's food stuck in your teeth or like just no, it's not fun and not very nice to look at and also if you're drink even if you're like drinking colored drinks you would need to brush your teeth because sometimes colored drinks will stain your eyeliner colored drinks include like coffee tea i mean wine i guess if you are into that i don't drink that often and also what else gatorade or powerade one of those sports drinks possibly red bull as well or like any of those like you know colored drinks whatever oh for the record like they say that you're not meant to drink super strong colored drinks you can but i guess if you don't brush your teeth the flavor will be stuck in your eyeliner for longer and then if you think about it a lot of these drinks are like super sugary and basically it's like keeping the sugar stuck super close to your teeth for an extended period of time if you don't brush your teeth and it will increase your chances of getting cavities and you do not want your teeth to look like they have cavities if you don't have one and you don't want to create another problem to your teeth while you're trying to get them straight and also cavities are not cheap to fill or to get them done the fourth thing would be i wish i knew that i might have started speaking with a lisp because i for some reason even though i had retainers i did not know half of these things would happen when i had clear aligners put in but i did not realize that i would have a lisp because it's like basically covering your teeth and a little bit of the upper surface of your gums and that made me kind of have a lisp a little bit which made it a little bit harder to talk and it's a bit obviously i will have to like pronounce or enunciate my words a bit more clearly compared to normal i had to practice but after a couple of days i kind of got used to it it was a bit tough because for my job i tutor kids and they are like a lot younger some of them are like learning how to read and i have to like pronounce my words a bit more actively than usual in the first place and in addition to that i have to like pronounce my words like way more than you know usual uh yeah and usually my shifts are like three or four hours so like it's a bit impossible to like remove these and then like don't forget i have to eat so that's like probably an extra like hour or two away from like the 23 22 23 hours i have to put them in i'm talking now so i'd have them in this box so that's like less time but anyway the last thing that i did not realize about getting clear aligners or in this line was that when you clean this you are strongly discouraged to get like to use toothpaste on a regular basis because apparently they're not very good for um aligners or like retainers in general like these ones especially you should be using a mouthwash or from what i've heard dish soap is really good as well i do use denture cleaners as well and yeah i use mouthwash whenever i brush these when i'm home and i generally use denture cleaners at least i used to do it once a week but i have probably because since i'm wearing it pretty much 24 or 7 i would put at least every other day or at least every day if i can but yeah i also use a separate toothbrush so that you know the toothpaste doesn't come like cross with my teeth and 
my retainer or Invisalign. Uh, that mistake I made with my previous retainers and it all got all gunky and gross and I ended up not wearing it because it looked gross and then it also became a bit loose. You have those metal ones that go around and then there's the acrylic plate on it, wire that goes across the front of your teeth got kind of loose and that's why I stopped wearing my uh, retainers and that's why my teeth fell back into the crowd it was. So the moral of the story is if you can afford it, I know it's a financially hard time right now, everyone has their priorities, fair enough. I strongly recommend if your retainer gets all gross and grunky or if you lose them, I strongly recommend replacing them because getting braces or Invisalign again is way more expensive. I paid like $4,000 in total for braces and Invisalign together mm, and I mean thank god it was not as severe as it was before the first round of braces but trust me getting new retainers there I think from my orthodontist is about $300 for top and $300 for bottom so it will be $600 $600 is a lot cheaper than four thousand dollars this four thousand dollars is excluding my retainers so i have to get new retainers on top of the four thousand dollars i've already paid and then i also needed to get my teeth extracted which was another cost i can't remember what it cost that but it was not cheap so i probably would be paying close to six seven thousand dollars in total including retainers and extractions and x-rays because x-rays were not included as well so yeah x-rays i would have to do it at the end they did one a while back and that was not cheap i can't remember how much that was so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you like video like this please give this a thumbs up if you like please subscribe if you want to see more of me and comment down below if you have any questions suggestions for any videos or just comment thank you so much for watching please stay safe and healthy and i'll see you guys in the next one